All right, thank you, Tony. And our live Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather team coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell. She's been talking to local officials about their storm preparations. She joins us now live with the mobile newsroom with what she's learned. Yeah, cities and towns all over our area are getting ready, but this storm is still too far out, so none of their plans are solidified just yet. If you've ever driven around Fall River, you know there are a lot of hills. We've got about 108 of them, but I'm not counting. And some of them are extremely steep. If we lose the hills, it's, it takes heavy equipment to get them back. So the city is going to start pre-treating the hills and other roads Thursday ahead of Saturday's forecasted storm. Because of the short dress rehearsal we had over the weekend, we're pretty much ready. Uh, equipment's ready. The salt has been plentiful. Um, expecting about a thousand tons over the next couple of days. So that'll fill this building up. Rhode Island has plenty of salt too. So far the, the wind has been really kind and so uh, salt reserves are probably at 100% still. And typically uh, both local and state probably have enough salt on hand for five storms before they need to be completely replenished. So today I actually learned to clear and treat roads in Fall River. Per inch of snow, it costs between $25 and $30,000. Again, that's per inch. So if we get a lot of inches of snow, that budget just keeps going up and up. Coming up new at 6, how the Rhode Island EMA is getting ready for this storm. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. And count on the live Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather team to keep tracking the approaching storm and bring you continuous updates on air and online at WPRI.com. And for the latest future cast, weather alerts and live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar on your fi at your fingertips, make sure you have the Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather app on your smartphone or tablet. You can get it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.